let's let's get ready for mops <clears throat> we start with cross tapping so keep your hands crossed one one two two three three four four five five six six seven seven eight eight nine nine ten ten eleven eleven twelve twelve thirteen thirteen fourteen fourteen fifteen fifteen sixteen sixteen seventeen seventeen eighteen eighteen nineteen nineteen twenty twenty relax a little bit allow the breath to become normal then bring both the hands in front we'll do the swinging motion so you will take a deep breath in take the hands up bend the wrist with the fingers pointing forward breathing out bend till the body becomes horizontal to the ground hold your breath and then swing down when you want to breathe in start breathing in and come up hands straight up and then bring the hands from the side breathing up allow the body to relax before you initiate the second round so start getting ready breathing in both the hands up bend at the wrist fingers pointing forwards hold your breath breathing out bend bringing the body horizontal to the ground hold your breath swing down breathing in come up hold your breath breathing out bring the hands from the side one last round get ready on your own release and relax we'll do tadasan keep the hands interlaced on top of the head inverted with the palms facing the sky breathing in first raise the hands up then come on your toes keep your eyes focused at one point in front hold your balance as long as you are comfortable breathing out first bring the feet down to rest on the ground then bring your hands to rest on the hand and then bring the hands on the side take a couple of breaths once again breathing in bring the hands interlace turn it upwards hold your breath breathe out completely hold your breath breathing in raise the hands up come on your toes hold your breath breathing out first bring the feet down then bring the hands to rest on the head hold your breath then bring the hands from the side last round on your own start
release and relax. Last practice, Kati Chakrasana. Keep the hands by the side. Breathing in, bring the hands parallel to the shoulder. Hold your breath. Breathing out, rotate to the right side. Right hand comes from behind around the waist. Left hand on the right shoulder. Turn the upper torso to the right as much as you can comfortably turn. Then breathing in, bring the hands back at the level of the shoulders and hold your breath. Breathing out very slowly, allow your hands to come back to rest. Experience the relaxation of the muscles as you rest. Then breathing in, raise the hands up again, hold your breath. Breathing out, rotate to the left side, right hand on the left shoulder, left hand from around the waist, turn the body to the left side. Breathing in, come back, hands at the level of the shoulders. Breathing out, very slowly, bring the hands back to the sides and allow the muscles to go to a lower resting tone. One last round, hands up at the side, I mean at the level of the shoulders, hold your breath, breathing out, rotate to the right side, hold your breath, breathing in, hands back at the level of the shoulder, hold your breath, breathing out, very slowly bring the hands down from the side. Breathing in, bring the hands up at the shoulder level. Hold your breath. Breathing out, turn to the left side. Hold your breath. Breathing in, bring the hands at the level of the shoulders. Hold your breath. Breathing out, bring the hands to the sides. And then sit down and relax. You can do Kapal Badi till we start the class. seven times. Make your sankalpa. I am chanting Om, creating protective energy field around me that keeps me protected from all external negative influences, antibodies and viruses. I am creating three layers of protection. On my outermost layer, I have six friendly creatures, an elephant behind me, a peacock in front, a tiger on my right side, a lion on my left side, an eagle above my head and a black tortoise below me. Inside of that, I have a big ring with bones of fire. I am lighting all the bones, allowing a firewall of protection to go up all around me. Third layer of protection comes from the subtle energy of the mantra Om that I am chanting. 
Take your awareness to Muladhara Chakra at the perineum, four petal lotus, red color. Take a deep breath in. Shift your awareness to Swadhisthana Chakra at the spinal terminus. Six petal lotus orange color. Increase pitch a little bit. Take a deep breath. Shift your awareness to Manipur Chakra behind your navel, 10 petal lotus, yellow color. Increase pitch further, take a deep breath. Uh... Shift your awareness to Anahata Chakra behind your heart center. 12 petal lotus green color. Increase pitch further, take a deep breath. Uh... Shift your awareness to Vishuddhi Chakra behind your throat with 16 petal lotus blue color. Increase pitch further, take a deep breath. Shift your awareness to Aknya Chakra behind your eyebrow center, two petal lotus, indigo color. Increase pitch further, take a deep breath. Shift your awareness to Sahasrara Chakra, center of the top of your head, thousand petal lotus white color, increase pitch further, take a deep breath. Uh... Shanti Mantras Om Sahana Bhavatu Sahana Bhunatu Sahaviryam Karavavahai Ejasvinamadhi Dhamastu Mavetishavahai Om Shanti 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 Arigiyo Keep your hands in Linga Mudra. Keep your hands near your chest. Pay attention to how you are holding the Mudra. If the fingers are held interlaced in a tight way, become aware of it. Consciously relax them. If your erect thumb is held in a tense way, become aware of it. Consciously relax it. Relax the whole Mudra. Relax your shoulders, your neck, your head, your face. Relax the whole body. 
and in a deep sense of relaxation make your sankalpa i am chanting mahamrityunjay mantra for physical health and mental well being chanting the mantra every day helps me maintain the best of health mentally and physically all my brain cells and my body cells are operating optimally and in harmony with each other i can feel your grace my lord penetrating deep into my body energizing each and every brain cell and body cell keeping me in pristine health at all times i bow down before you thanking you from the bottom of my heart for keeping me in pristine health and i promise to put in efforts from my side for keeping my body in a healthy condition be fitting for you to reside inside my body in your effulgent form om trayambakam yajamage sugandham pushtivardhanam purvarukam iva bandhanan mrityor mukshi yamamritat om trayambakam yajamage sugandham pushtivardhanam purvarukam iva bandhanan mrityor mukshi yamamritat ओम त्रयंबकम विजामगे सुगंधम पुष्टिवर्धनम पूर्वारुकमिव वंदनान मृत्योर मुक्षी यमामृता ओम शांति 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 हरि गी ओम वेरी स्लोली रिलीज योर हैंड्स कीप देम ऑन योर नीज then keep your body erect stable steady without moving you come aware of your posture which parts of the body are touching the ground maybe both the glute muscles the sit bones are touching the ground maybe both the legs the thighs and the half muscles are touching the ground or maybe only one of them if you kept either padmasana or ardha padmasana which of the two feet is touching the ground which is not touching the ground can you reverse the position in which your feet are if one feet is below the other feet is above reverse it so that the feet which is below comes up the one which is above goes down when you are in any cross leg position this is your non habitual way of sitting when you made this alteration how did it make you feel how is it making you feel now Do you feel something odd, something amiss? Recognize that feeling. If you want to change the leg position once again, do it. Or be in this new, non-habitual way for some time. bring your attention in front of your eyebrows or not sorry in front of your forehead the chitta kash and become a passive non involved observer whatever that comes up maybe images maybe colors maybe darkness maybe nothing be a witness to whatever you see there sudden emotions may come up recognize them and let them go
unpleasant thoughts which are buried in your subconscious may come up recognize it let it go Now try and see if you can keep the mind without any thoughts, focusing your attention on any one particular image that you can bring in front of you. Hold on to that image. Just be aware of your breathing in and out, but see if you can stop all of the thoughts coming in. Then gently rub your hands, keep them on your eyes and get ready for the practices for today. Today I have worked on what we call whole body somatics. We will start from the head and the neck, come to the shoulders, come to the torso and the back, then come down to the lower extremities and then finally come to the hands. How much of it will cover I don't know. So we'll start first for the head movements. There are three or four. I'll show all of them and then you go down to lying. So you'll be lying, keeping your hands by the side, your head in line with the center line of your body. And the first move is just to rotate your head to the right. Come back. Rotate to the left. So the plain neck rotation, right and left, slowly. And every time you come back to the center, wait, experience the neck muscles relaxing, then go to the other side, come back slowly, wait, experience the neck muscles, go back to lower resting tone, then go to the other side. On the same day, the next move will be forward backward. So you, without raising the back of the head from the ground, you will try to bring the chin closer to the chest. And then you will re release out of that contraction. Then backward, you will slide the head so that the neck gets an extension. And then you will slide back. And the last move is a neck rotation. So while taking the head to the right side, you roll forward and the chin will start coming closer to the right shoulder. So this is the first move where the chin stays away from the shoulder. In the second move, you rotate Allowing the chin to come close to the shoulder, then you will go back. And then you will come back on the other side, and then you will go back. So those are the moves for the neck, and then we will come to the shoulder. So lie on your back, we will start with our body scan. So pay attention to how you are lying on the back. Srilata, can you adjust the camera so that I can see a little more? Thank you. <clears throat> Just become conscious and aware as to you, your body. Which parts of the body are in touch with the ground? How do you feel 
is a sense of relaxation in your body right now. Take a deep breath in. As you breathe in, feel coolness and calmness spreading throughout the body. As you breathe out, feel all the cares and the worries flowing out of the body, out of the mind. Second round, breathing in, coolness and calmness spreading throughout the body. All the cares and the worries flowing out of the body, out of the mind. Feel a deep sense of relaxation pervading throughout the body. And very quickly pay attention to both your heels. How are they pressing against the ground? Calf muscles, how are they pressing against the ground? Back of the knees, is it flushed along the ground or is it raised from the ground? Thighs, how are they pressing on the ground? Glute muscles, how are they pressing on the ground? And the entire spinal vertebrae, how many of them do you feel are touching the ground? How many you can't feel are touching the ground? Are both your shoulders flushed along the ground? What about the arm and the hand from the shoulder joint right up to your fingers? Is the entire arm resting on the ground or are there portions which are not touching the ground? What about the back of your head? How is it resting on the ground? Once you have made your assessment of your own body at the present point, you can compare notes later on. Slowly get ready for the first move. Very gently turn your head to the right side. Breathing out as you do this. Breathing in as you very slowly bring the head back to the center and rest. Experience the effect of relaxation on the neck muscles. And then slowly on the next exhale, turn the head to the left side. On the inhale, bring your head back to the center. Once again, rest. Experience the deeper relaxation of the neck muscles. And then continue for three, four more rounds on your own. Start. Whatever round you are in, do one last round and then relax. Relax for some time. Pay attention to your neck muscles. How do you feel? Was the rotation? Was turning to one side easier as compared to turning to the other side? Or was both the sides equally comfortable? Or did you feel any stiffness in the neck? After the rounds, did you feel any relaxation in the neck? Just become conscious and aware as to what you could experience. Now you'll do forward backward movement. The first is forward. So keeping the head resting on the ground. Tilt the chin toward the chest and pay attention to your neck muscles and slowly release out of your contraction and wait. Every time you come back, 
wait and pay attention to your muscles asking them to go to a lower resting tonus second round breathing in tilt forward breathing out very slowly come back to neutral position third round breathing in tilt your chin towards the chest breathing out come back to neutral last round start and relax this movement contracted the front side of your neck and you relaxed it to a new lower resting tones now you're going to contract the back side of the neck so slide the head with the chin tilting towards the ceiling keeping the head on the floor without lifting it from the floor and slowly come back to neutral wait and pay attention to the back side of the neck breathing in when you're sliding the head breathing out when you're sliding back <sighs> second round breathing in slide back breathing out return to neutral third round breathing in breathing out relax fourth round relax wait for some time experience whatever you can experience on the front side of the neck and the back side of the neck so you're going to work on the side muscles of the neck so you're going to do a neck rotation as you turn the head to the right side you will roll it down with the chin coming closer to the right shoulder and slowly roll it back once again start rolling this time roll the head to the left side with the chin coming to the left shoulder and slowly roll back your head to neutral hand relax and wait experience the muscles in both sides of the neck once again breathing in roll your head to the right side with the chin coming close to your right shoulder as you breathe out roll your head back to neutral chin pointing towards the ceiling on the next inhale rotate to the left side chin coming closer to the left shoulder on the exhale come back to neutral once again experience the side muscles going back to new lower resting tones as you continue to practice your muscle come should come back to zero tone so as you practice allowing it to go to lower and lower resting tone finally it will come back to zero tone that is when the muscle is completely relaxed next round on the inhale turn rotate the head to the right side chin coming close to the right shoulder on the exhale come back to neutral In the next inhale roll your head to the left side chin coming closer to the left shoulder on your exhale bring your head back to neutral last round breathing in rotate your head to the right side
breathing out, rotate your head back to neutral. In the next breathing in, rotate your head to the left side, chin coming closer to the left side. On your next exhale, roll back. Once again, pay attention to both the side muscles to the neck. What can you experience there? Any changes did you notice? How do the sides of the neck muscle now feel? How is the back muscle feeling? How is the front muscle feeling? And so we relax, you will now get down to the next practice. So if you want to watch, you will be moving your shoulders along with your chin. So you are lying in this position. And then you will bring both the shoulders up toward the ceiling, raise your head a little bit, chin tucked toward the shoulder, slowly release out of that contraction. So breathing in, when you lift both the shoulders, pointing them towards the ceiling, lift the head a little bit. Very slowly come back to neutral. This is one move. The next move is, you will take both the shoulders towards the ground, tilt the head a little backward. And then release out. Move both the shoulders down, Tilt the head a little backward and then come out of that. So those are the two shoulder movements that we will do. So get ready. Breathing in, bring both the shoulders up towards the ceiling. Tuck the chin up. Don't lift the head so much. That can strain your neck. So only lift a little bit from the ground. Don't strain the neck. Be extremely aware of it. So only a little bit from the ground, tucking the shoulders, bringing them toward the uh, ceiling is more important. So once again, very slowly bring the shoulders up, head a little up from the ground, and then slowly release out of that contraction and rest. Feel the shoulder blade. How does the shoulder blade move? Be aware of that. Next round. And then release. Take some rest. And now you'll work on Reversing that move, so your shoulders will move down towards the floor, head will slightly tilt backwards, correct. Slowly release, out of that contraction, wait for some time. Next round. Slowly release, out of that contraction. Last round. Now we will practice the barrel movement. So you have done this once before. Fold both the legs. The feet are flat on the ground, knees are towards the ceiling. You will bring both the hands in front. And then first you will try to raise the right hand as though you are grabbing something from the top. And then slowly bring it back. Then you will take the left hand up and slowly bring it back and alternate between the two. Start. Fold both the legs up, keep both hands, palms facing each other. And then very slowly start moving the right hand up towards the ceiling. 
as the right hand starts coming down slowly move the left hand toward the ceiling as the left hand starts coming down slowly move the right hand toward the ceiling and slowly continue feel each movement as you're bringing it up and down feel the shoulder blade rotating from side to side pay full attention on your shoulder blade how when you're moving the right hand what happens to the right side of the shoulder blade when you move the left hand what happens to the left shoulder blade and then each time when you're bringing back let this side that is moved relax completely continue for some more time then relax stretch your legs out then we will be practicing our regular movements which you are all familiar with so you can turn your body onto your stomach bring the right hand in front of your face your palm is facing the floor if you want to watch this is the this is the way you are lying down your right hand is in front and your face is turned to the right side that means your left chin is resting on the back of your right palm and your eyes are facing your elbow so in this position you will be lifting the palm elbow head and the opposite leg up and very slowly you will come out of that contraction so as you are lifting up you are contracting the shoulder muscles muscles along the right side of your spine muscles on the left glute and the left leg and slowly release out of that contraction very slowly come back and relax as after you come back relax feel the effect of the movement on the back muscles on the shoulder and your left glute and the left leg then move the second one breathe in when you are raising your head and the leg up breathing out as you are releasing back into neutral position last round and then relax then change sides bring the left hand in front right hand by the side turn the face to the left side and then on the inhalation lift your palm elbow head and the right leg up and when you breathing out slowly release out of that contraction wait to experience the relaxation on all the back muscles when you're ready second round inhale when you're doing exhale when you are coming back relax after you come back please relax let the muscles experience going into a lower tone last round and slowly release and relax then gently turn on your back fold both the legs bring the right hand under your head 
as you breathe in you will arch your lower belly line tailbone will press on the ground as you breathe out you will flatten the lower back then pick your head up pick your left leg forward towards the chest aiming the elbow you will pick the left leg towards the chest and you will aim the right elbow towards the left knee and then slowly release out of that contract wait for some time breathing in arch your lower belt line press the tailbone against the ground as you breathe out flatten the lower belt line tailbone raises from the ground then pick your head up elbow pointing towards the opposite knee slowly come out of that contraction and wait and relax experience the front side of your body the muscles in the front abdomen contracting as you are coming up you are completely relaxing that muscle to a new resting tonus third round as you breathe in arch your lower belt line as you breathe out flatten and then bring pick your head up slowly release experience your rectus abdominis relaxing to a lower resting tonus stretch your legs out and relax feel the whole back side relax feel the front side muscles relax and when you're ready you will once again fold your legs and take the opposite side that is left hand will come under the head and this time you will bring the right knee towards the chest aiming the left elbow to the right knee slowly come out of that contraction experience the relaxation of the rectus abdominis into a lower resting tone relax after you come back experience that relaxation then release then do the next movement breathing in arch your lower belt line as you breathe out flatten after the lower belt line is flattened then pick your head up when you come out of the contraction wait experience the rectus abdominis going to a new resting tone and when you are ready last round then relax your legs relax your hands and allow the experience of relaxation to sink in completely and now we have to work on the side muscles the obliques as they are called and we'll also be working on the hip rotators so you can watch one round and then you are familiar with this so it's easy you will be folding the legs in the chair position your body is aligned the top hand will go over the head to catch the ear in this position you will lift the lower feet up head up the side muscles are getting contracted and no no knees are together your both the attack slowly come out of that contraction and wait so very slowly start slowly release out of the contraction wait experience the side on which you are lifting the muscles relaxing second round when you are doing it feel and experience the chest on that side is contracting the chest on the opposite side is expanding feel that as well and then slowly release as you are working on the side muscles you are also working on your chest muscles 
लास्ट राउंड स्लोली रिलीज and then turn to the other side very slowly while breathing in come up head up top foot up slowly release out of the contraction and wait feel the chest muscles relaxing side obliques relax then initiate the second move breathing in breathing out come back to resting position last round and relax now we are going to practice the side rotation so you will be lying on your back hands are by the side of the body the right leg will come on top of the left if you want in this position when the right leg is on top of the left you can take the right hand over the head and in this position breathing out you will take both the knees towards the floor on the right side turn your head to the left side and then slowly come out of that contraction feeling the reversal of your spinal vertebrae rotating as you are turning to the right side you are rotating your spinal vertebrae feel that rotation and as you are coming back all those vertebrae are coming back to their resting position feel the vertebrae go back to a lower resting position before you take the next round and then we will switch the legs turn to the other side so get ready right leg on the left right hand over the head very slowly breathing right leg over the left very slowly breathing out turn to the right side face to the left you don't have to touch the ground you can be anywhere where your legs are comfortably going and then come back to neutral position and wait feel the vertebrae going back to a new resting tone before you start the second move get ready second round breathing out breathing in come back wait experience the spinal vertebrae going into a new resting tone then last round breathing out to the right side slowly come back then unwind your legs straighten your legs experience a deeper state of relaxation this time pay attention to your body can you feel any difference from the right side of the body as compared to the left side make a note of it how many of your vertebrae are now touching the ground as compared to when you started can you experience more of them touching the ground now and then when you're ready fold your legs take the left leg over the right left hand will now be over the head and when you are breathing out you will take both the legs to the left side 
left hand left leg should be on top of the right leg kai face to the right side slowly come back come back slowly pay attention every time when you repeat the move ask yourself can i come back to neutral slower than what i did last time ask yourself and see how you can do it and try to reduce its speed and once you've come back to neutral wait to experience the release of your vertebrae into a lower resting tone before you initiate the next move and then last round and relax Now the next move. They are they are all for the legs. So you will keep the right leg on the left knee so that it gets a support. Keeping it this way, you will straighten the leg up and then slowly bring it back. This is this you will do three times. then you will turn the feet to the right side and then lift the leg up and then bring it back then you will turn the feet the other way around and lift it up keeping it that way bring it down keeping it that way so those are the three moves so get ready first round breathing in straighten the leg and then slowly bring it back <clears throat> don't lift the leg from the other knee then it strains so the, you are resting it on the other knee for support so keep it that way and straighten correct slowly come back breathing in when you are straightening the leg breathing out when you are coming back to neutral and then wait see all the quadricep muscles working that is the muscles on the top side of your thighs contracting when you are lifting the leg up and you are releasing those muscles to a new resting tone when you are coming back now relax once you have completed three rounds you will turn the foot to one side whichever side you want and then keeping it turned that way you will lift it up you will feel a different type of contraction on your quadriceps and then slowly release out of that contraction second round slowly breathing in keeping the leg turned the same way lift your leg up and then slowly release out of that contraction last round slowly release out of the contraction and wait feel a new relaxation on your quadricep muscles then turn the foot the other way round and lift it up slowly release out of that contraction keeping it that way correct second round slowly release out of the contraction last round and release 
Now switch your legs. First, keeping the foot in the neutral position, lift your leg up. Slowly release out of that contraction. Second round. Last round. Once you've completed, wait for some time. Then turn your foot to one side, whichever side you want. Keep it turned that way and lift your leg up. Slowly release out of the contraction and wait. Second round. Slowly release out of the contraction and wait. Last round. Finally, turn the foot to the other side. And raise it up. Slowly release. Second round. Last round. And then stretch your legs out and relax. Then turn to one side and sit up. We will do some movements for the shoulder joints. So you will keep the hands in front of you. And in this position very slowly breathing in you will move the hands away. And then breathing out slowly come back. Then spread the hands the other way around, slowly come back. And then release and wait for some time, pay attention to your shoulder joints and the scapula. Once you've allowed and experience a lower resting tone, again come back, keep your hands one on top of the other, spread the hands and then slowly come back, wait and then spread the hands the other way around, slowly come back, release and wait. Third round. And wait. Now you're going to keep the hands straight and then rotate it like this with the thumb going down and try to reach out forward. And then release, bring the hand back to neutral and then bring the hand up. So once again, straighten the hand, thumb going down, fingers coming up. Reach out, turn back, come back. Last round. I will repeat that with the left hand.
सेकेंड राउंड थर्ड राउंड and then relax and then sit in a meditative position for the closure Chant mantra Om three times. <clears throat> Once again, make your sankalpa. I am chanting Om, creating protective energy field around me <clears throat> that keeps me protected from all external negative influences, antibodies, and viruses. <clears throat> Take a deep breath in for Om mantra. Oh. Nicely when they're warm, keep them on your eyes, and then feel the warmth flowing in from the palm into the eyes. Gently open your eyes, experience the colors you notice when you open the eyes. Slowly release your hands. Aryom Tatsit, Aryom Tatsit, Aryom Tatsit. So, see you all on <coughs> Thursday. Have a great Ganesh Chaturthi. Uh, we are going to make some changes in the format. In September, we will complete lesson 22, 23, 24. That will complete the first phase of that book, uh, which is the yoga practice. 25 onwards is Kriya Yoga. We are going to suspend it because, as you can see, our numbers have fallen down. And if we continue directly into Kriya Yoga, I am not able to admit new people into the class. So we will change the model from October onwards to having a combination of yoga and uh, somatic practices so that new people can also join. And then after that, at some point in the future, we will see how to introduce Kriya Yoga. Or I will organize it with the ashram when the ashram is taking inmates in. So we can all go there and then the ashram will conduct the Kriya Yoga for us. So that's how it will be. 
So in September we'll complete. So mostly we'll be on yoga in September. Lesson 22, 23, 24 in sequence we'll complete. Okay. See you all on Thursday. Bye.